Hello and welcome back to lesson 5 of Learn HTML and today we're going to be going over links. Now links are amazingly useful for linking other pages and other websites to your document. So let's jump straight into this tutorial. Okay so for this tutorial we're just going to be opening up the document which we last left off in and you can see that we last left off doing paragraph tags. Now instead of doing a new comment and writing links out that way we're going to be including the links right into this paragraph text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be linking this helping develop text here. I'm going to be linking that to the helping develop website. Now a tags you can or link tags whichever you want to call them you can link them to full web addresses or pages within your directory. So how you open a link tag is you open it with this forward triangle bracket a and then the href is the source in which you want to link it to. Now if you were linking it to a full web address you would need to type in the full address so http colon forward slash forward slash and then the rest so www.helpingdevelop.com for example. Now what you would do is you just include the text which you want to link or the item you want to link and then after that you just do the triangle bracket forward slash and then the closing the a tag just like the html and body for example. Now once that's done we can save this document we can go to google chrome and we can refresh. Now you can see that this helping develop has now been made a link. Now the reason why it's a purple color and not a blue color is because I've already visited this link before. Once again you can change this in CSS but we're going to be going over that in the CSS tutorials. So if I click this link now you can see that it actually takes me over to helping develop. Now another thing it does is it overwrites that page. Well not overwrites it but kind of just gets rid of it and redirects you to helping develop. Now some people might want when you click that to open a brand new tab so that you can still switch between the tabs and go back to this whenever you want. Now how you do that is you just add a new attribute into the link a tag and uh, what that attribute is called is called target. Now target you can have loads of different options but for this one we're going to use underscore blank and that's going to open a blank document and then go to this URL basically. So if we save that, go back into Google Chrome and we refresh, you can see that now when we click this link, it opens a new tab and we can go through helping develop like so and go back and forth. Now, the default, what it's set to, for example, is underscore self, which is what we saw at the start. So to prove that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this, refresh, and if I go to helping develop, you can see that it redirects this page again. So let's just go ahead and change that back to blank. Okay, so now what I'm going to go over is linking to a page on your directory because this is linking to a website. And I'm going to link this image tag as we can link anything. So I'm going to lay it out exactly the same, but of course you could start putting in HTTP, but we don't need to do that if it's a file on our server. We can just put the name of our file and then the file extension. So I'm calling this page2.html. We're closing that off and we're going to close it off at the end of the image, just like we've done with the text, but only with an image instead. And once again, you can use the target tags and everything like that. But we're going to save this page as page2. So basically, we're going to duplicate this page. One's called index, one calls page2. On page2.html, we're going to change the title and we're just going to delete all of this content apart from the heading and just say, hello, this is page2 for example on page two. Now of course on a website you would have loads more content on every page but this is for an example. So if we refresh you can see this link, this is now a link and you can click it and it takes us back to hello this is page two and back again. So you can see that links are working fine on our new HTML document. So that's basically how to write links in HTML. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up below if you like this tutorial. Uh, comment in the section below because that also gives my video a higher ranking on Google and YouTube and also go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Now also I would like you to go ahead and go to my Facebook which is left in the description, go to my Twitter which is left in the description, give me a like and give me a follow and you'll be subscribed to all my latest updates and everything like that. So I hope you once again have enjoyed this tutorial. Goodbye.